the doorways open up and see What kind of lifeline will be waiting there for me I need to bury all these fears And then they fade away I'm not scared, I'm prepared To find myself Hey everybody, so I'm going to discuss Pepita and Madeline Redhair. I'm going to bring up her picture. This is a good flyer with her picture in there. This is another picture and another flyer. So Pepita, a proud member of the Navajo Nation, loved skateboarding, cooking, drawing, and meeting new people. She was working at Hot Topic in Albuquerque, New Mexico as a cashier and was studying at the University of New Mexico with hopes of becoming a teacher or engineer someday. Another thing about Pepita that should be acknowledged is that she was always in contact with her mother, Anita, who remains adamant that her daughter would never have run away without telling her or reaching out to her. Pepita was last seen by her mother on March 24th, 2020. On March 24th, 2020, Pepita left her mother's home in Crown Point, New Mexico to visit her boyfriend, Nicholas, at his home in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Later that afternoon, Pepita and her mother, Anita, met to have lunch together at a local McDonald's. Afterwards, Anita dropped Pepita off at her boyfriend's home. This is the last time she has seen her daughter. We had our last meal at McDonald's. She, she said, Mom, I love you. She was always happy, Anita King, Pepita's mother stated. Two days later, Pepita and Nicholas allegedly go out drinking together. According to Nicholas, Pepita's boyfriend, the couple went drinking on the evening of March 26, 2020. Sometime that evening, he explains, they met up with another man whose name has not been re released to the public. Nicholas further explains that he and Pepita got into an argument at the party they were attending. The last time Nicholas claims to have seen Pepita is when she walked out of the residence where they were drinking in Northeast Albuquerque, New Mexico. Nicholas adds, hold on one second. Nicholas adds, however, alleges that Pepita texted him the following day to inform him that she was with another man, Nicholas believes that this man is the same man from the party the night before. This is the last time anyone has been in contact with Pepita. None of these events have been confirmed by authorities. After making several attempts to contact Pepita via text message and phone call, Anita contacted the Albuquerque Police Department and filed her daughter as a missing person on March 28th of 20. Two days later, Anita received a text message from Pepita's phone. The person who sent the text message text explained that they had purchased a cell phone from someone, indicating that Pepita's phone had been stolen. 
Nicholas Pepita's boyfriend contacted the authorities on April 29th, 2020, nearly a month after her disappearance and made another missing persons report. It is unknown why he waited so long to file the report. A possible history of domestic violence is brought to light. In a statement made by officials with the Albuquerque Police Department authorities, acknowledged that there was a domestic history with the boyfriend, adding that they are checking into it. They also state that even though the case had gone cold, they are working on following up on new leads. Anita remains adamant that Pepita never would have run away without telling her. She maintains that Pepita was suffering from some form of domestic abuse from Nicholas at that time. So as of 2021, Anita, along with other friends in October of 2021, friends and family members held a rally in Albuquerque, New Mexico to raise awareness for Pepita's disappearance. And then another rally was held in June of 2022. I'm going to show you pictures of that. This is pictures of what the rally would have looked like. Pictures of the rally that day. So MM. IW means missing and murdered indigenous women. And that's people, friends and family rallying for Pepita right here. Today, Pepita remains missing and her case has been labeled as cold by investigators. If you have any information regarding Pepita's whereabouts of her disappearance, Please contact the Albuquerque Police Department at 505-242-2677 or the New Mexico Department of Public Safety Missing Persons Hotline, 800-457-3463. All I want for my family, my daughter, we want closure. Anita King, Pepita's mother, stated. At the time of disappearance, Pepita was described as a 27-year-old indigenous woman with brown hair and brown eyes. She stood five foot, one inch tall and weighed approximately 141 pounds. Pepita has two moles on her chin and a scar on her left eyebrow. She has the following tattoos, a moon with a lightning on her left leg, a butterfly on her shoulder, a dinosaur on her right forearm, her last name, red hair, somewhere on her body and either a koi fish or dinosaur on her left forearm. She went missing March 27th of 2022. She was born August 4th, 1992. She's 31 years of age. Date of incident, 27 years old. Native American indigenous woman, female, five foot, one inch tall, 141 pounds and brown hair. If you guys could please hit the like button, share this case out. Let's bring Pepita Madeline Red Hair home to our family. Smashing that like button keeps these cases in the YouTube algorithm. And again, you can also call 1 800 222 TIPS. So. Let's bring Pepita home to our mom, Anita. Thank you guys for watching and have a great night. Bye, guys.